Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris with this rim. And in this video, we're going to continue the process of developing our 3D character in Blender. In the previous lesson, we talked about how to import your concept art and use it as reference. Now we're going to go into the phase of actually sculpting out the character, the beginning stages of sculpting out your character with the simple shapes. So with that being said, we're just going to hop right into it. Let's go. Boom. So here it is. This is what this is currently what we have here. Making sure my mic's on. Yeah. This is currently what we have here um, as far as our 3D character. In the previous lesson, we talked about how we created these mesh um, these mesh objects just as, as our base mesh to kind of get started with sculpting. Really think of it just like a, just like a, um, a stick figure or something like that. Just think of it like a stick figure, like you're just grabbing all the points and pretty much making it just like a stick figure so you can change these things as they go along, right? So if you need a refresher on that, make sure you go back to the previous lesson. But we're gonna go ahead and continue this, uh, continue this, and use and use the images as reference. So let's start with the head. You want to go into edit mode here, and you see in edit mode I already kind of have it from the previous lesson, I already have it kind of shaped out a little bit. Now when you when you get into the edit mode, you can now go in and like add loop cuts extrude things of that nature so we're going to add a loop cut here and you see as we add a loop cut now we can add more definition to the shape so we're going to add a we're going to add one loop cut let's scale that out in the x axis a little bit gg to kind of bring it up s x scale you see, I'm just trying to pretty much just trying to match that shape. And it's best that you are in the actual orthographic view, which I wasn't. But again, and if you're if you're noticing that your controllers aren't showing up, you can go here and add your controllers to um, add your gizmos. Well, we usually have the gizmos here. Let me see if I'm, yeah, I'm just, maybe I have to select it like this. Okay, boom. So you add the gizmos here. So we're gonna add our, keep our gizmos. And we just want a rough shape of this head. Let me just do our best to get a rough shape of the head. Let's go ahead and grab the face here. Just inset it, bring it in, E, extrude it down, and again we're gonna we're gonna combine these together so you don't have to get perfect with this, but just inset it, bring it down, like so. All right, let's get the rough shape. So that's that. That's the head. Let's work on the chest. Remove this cast modifier off the chest. We're just going to edit. So we know the chest needs to be wider. So we're going to pull them wider. And one cheat that you can do. I'm tempted to do, but I'm not gonna do right now because you can do a symmetrize as well. So let's say you had, let's say I pulled this all the way over here, right? Which I'm missing a point. What I wanna do, and I should've did this before, even though I'm trying to keep them, what I'm gonna do, because these, these planes are kind of in my way. I want to keep them as reference. So what I'm going to do is just move one all the way to the left, one all the way to the back, and then use them as reference that way. So we're going to turn off the selectability of them. 
Now when I reference them, I can just do like this and pull it from this side. And if I need to go to the other one, I can pull it, you know, do it like this and pull it from that side. And then again, if I want to rotate it, now I can see it without it in the way. So let's continue on. What I'm going to do is H, H, and I'm hiding these real quick because I just want to build out, build it out without any kind of, right now, any kind of extra stuff in the way. And you can see like here, I missed that. So what you could do is right click, symmetrize. Okay, symmetrize, where are you at? You have to go on the mesh. Symmetrize. But I want to go from positive X to negative X, boom. So everything that I do on this side, I'll be able to symmetrize on the other side. Like you could do a mirror modifier, but with the mirror modifier, I find that it, you know, you can end up having issues in the middle. So symmetrize to me seems to work best right now. And what we're doing is just getting a rough, a very rough, which it kind of already put the, put the thing down the middle. So we might mirror this, hold on. Go ahead and just mirror it. See what that do. Faces, boom. Done. Now I'm gonna just grab this. Because the center is here, or the uh, the center point is in the center of it, it should mirror right across. So we're gonna mirror. It should be perfect. Boom. And you could do this. We could do the same thing for the head. You can either do a do a loop cut, or you could do the symmetrize move that I just did, and it will allow you to. It would actually give you a perfect one, so I'm gonna do the symmetrized way. X-ray mode, boom, delete, faces. Now go in here, grab this, add a modifier, mirror, boom. So now everything we change on one side should change on the other side. And no mirror modifier is already applied to these objects, and we can do it to this object as well. So let's just symmetrize this too. We're gonna continue on. So with this chest cavity, again, I'm gonna just do a do it roughly. I'm not gonna necessarily go off the reference, but you can see kind of where this is going as we kind of build it out. Make sure you are editing in edit mode. Do not work in a in a object mode make sure you get into edit mode before you start to make your edits that's essentially exactly what we're doing is just creating the shapes for this character The rough shapes, and you can go to the you can go to the front view and just see like do your shapes match. So again, his hips aren't necessarily right there. We can go here. This kind of comes up here. This one is kind of down there. You can say something like this. This one come to get this hip kind of comes out a little more on that on the I'm looking at the right side. And again, this is kind of where again your drawing might not necessarily match what you you know what you what 3D space looks like. What the 3D space looks like. And again, this is gonna be more of the abdomen, which again I like it to grow. So what we'll do is just grab it like this 
grab the node and pull it at the top. And it'll give it like that, that abdomen look. Just grab all of this and pull it up just like that. Boom. And I'm going to show you a, a quick way to where you can see the difference between all of these two. Now, the chest, the chest you do well. Let's just grab this shoulder real quick. And you can start to see the character is starting to form a little bit. You just want to. You know, get it in a nice vicinity because again, we're going to sculpt this. So we're just going to work it till we get to a nice vicinity of where we want everything to be. And these will be like his traps. What do we call it? Traps like his, the back of his back. You can see like his traps right here. Um, coming off the side there. Now we keep this like that. Boom. All right. So now if you want a good gauge them, let me do this. So y'all can probably see a little better. Um boom 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 boom. Just darken it up just a little bit. Like that. Boom. Alright. And we are also gonna do this random. So you can see the different parts. All right, so something I'm not liking already, I could tell, which again, like we can change all of this in sculpting, but one thing I'm noticing I'm not liking is this can come up more. This could come up more, that hip on the top can probably come out a little more than this will come in. Like so. Boom. All right. So let's look at it from the side. All right. Let's go to the side view. Now the head, of course, on the side view is totally different than the head on the top view. So what we'll do is, I mean the front view. So what we'll do, let's just model out everything on the front view and then revisit the side view and make adjustments that way. I think that'll be the best way to approach this. That would be the best way to approach this. Let's go. All right. So let's control H, Alt H, Shift H, Shift H, Alt H. We're pretty much going to do this for all of the elements. Now, now that you kind of have a feel for what exactly we're trying to, what we're doing here, we should just be able to roll with it now. Now with this, with this one, what I'm gonna do is rotate it so it goes it would go face down towards you know down towards the elbow and I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do with this one is an extrude but till before that I do that I'm gonna just do the other one as well so we're just gonna grab things everything rotate it down towards the hand Perfect. Edit mode, rotate it down towards the fingers. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit. Because I'm modeling more on the right side than the actual left side. My, I'm looking at the point of reference more on the le right side than the left side. And what we're gonna do now is go back to the top one. We're gonna grab the face and either we can we can pull it like regular. We can pull it like regular like this. You want to go into normal, so it'll just pull along the normal. You can pull it like that. I'm 
tempted to just leave it just like that. And uh, yeah, I am going to leave it just like that. I was going to extrude it. I was debating on extruding it or not, but I'm going to just leave it like this. We're going to work with it like this for now. Boom. Again, this is just a rough layout. We're going to end up sculpting most of this again and actually perfecting the actual shape of it. But right now, we just want a rough layout. Bring that down to the wrist. I already noticed something right here because you want this to be your forearm. So we're going to bring this actually right here. Go back to the top one. I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna pull that one down past the elbow. Which honestly, if you want a bicep, you want it kind of like this. So what you could do at this point is do like a extrude, and we could get both best of both worlds. I'm gonna just do that. I'm just leave it like this. I'm gonna keep it simple, kind of like, kind of just keep it simple, like I said before. Just don't overcomplicate it for this tutorial. Kind of think of again, think of a of a um, Of a um, oh no, don't want to do that. Stick figure, stick man. in there. Continue on. So I'll make this a little darker. Now at this point, at this point what we can do is duplicate but we can actually just go into edit mode and duplicate so shift D scale that down this will be the thumb one shift D Scale that down. G. Can't really see. So I have to. All right. Shift D. Let's see if I can snap it to the, snap it to face or something. Shift D. There we go. 
but that's what I'm looking for. Shift D. that yeah we just want to get it to where they line up L shift D and now one on the end I think that's good 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 They keep doing that. It's annoying me. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to separate all of these. P. 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 Just because it's just give me so much headache just selecting that stuff. I don't like it. So we're just going to do it like this. I think we can live with that. I think we can live with that. Alright. The fingers can tend to be a little... A little... Tedious. If you spend a little time with them, maybe I... Right. So, boom, all right, we're getting there. So let's go ahead and work on that leg now. We're just go into edit mode, we're gonna do the same thing, just grab, dragging, drag, pull that leg down. Oh yeah, turn off the snap. And just pull that leg down. Let's go ahead and get back in our into our mode so we can see. Now we're gonna pull that a little to the side. Pull that hip all the way up. Remember this is 
think of think of exactly the anatomy of this like these are the thighs and then on the back side of course you know that hip that hip uh the the, the butt you know all that all that area that's what this is so we have to consider what we're modeling or what we're rough rough placing right here Boom. All right. And go in here. And just pull that down all the way to the bottom. Pull this up to the top. And you can see where it overlaps. That would be kind of like the kneecap area. Now, with, the, with that being said, this can widen a little bit. So remember, we're going to, we're going from the calf to the ankle. The ankle is going to be a little skinnier. We'll go down to the base of the foot, which is this brown one. Now we're going to pull that foot out. We're going to do the foot from the side or from the front view. So we're just going to make it wider from this view, and then we'll place it as far as lengthwise from the other view so we're going to bring these up and just get a rough placement again think of think of think of when you were a kid and you were playing with play-doh or something like that it's pretty much the same exact concept like you're just molding the play-doh right now you're just grabbing all the parts that that need to be put on so you can, again, mold them to what they, what they need to be. See now, when we go from this point of view, it looks totally off, right? And again, it just takes time. So we're just gonna now go to this side and use the reference to shape our character, right? And at a certain point, at a certain point, we're gonna just jump from off the reference and use the reference not in the capacity of trying to align things, but just more like, okay, this is how I kind of designed it and use it as inspiration. That's a better, better way to put it. Use it as inspiration towards the final design. So we're gonna make this foot like that. His little, his little thigh is kind of, you know, he needs, he needs some meat on that. So let's put some meat on them thighs. Bring that up. Bring this front one up as well. Kind of align. You see, I'm I'm align. I'm able to align some of these elements. So again, we're getting some alignment in areas. Alignment, in, not necessarily in all areas, but we are getting it in some areas. Like we're getting alignment. That's good. That back plate. Gonna make that back bigger. Butt area. Give him a little. Give him a little. A little something. Pause. But give him a little something. Bring this back on to kind of align with this. This is his lower back, but at the same time, like something to kind of. And more than likely, we're going to have to do like a multiple, at least a loop cut in the middle to kind of merge those two together. I think that's a good stop place. Now, let's just move this stomach in. This stomach is kind of stomachy. Boom. Let's grab that chest. Let's make him give him a bigger chest. It's a little bigger. Like that. You know, he's a hero, so... In my hero's chest. I think that's a good, good point. Now we can go back into this head, right? 
because essentially what we want to do is bring these down like so bring that down a little bit like that the back side can come up though boom let's work on the head again Alright, I think we're getting there. I think we're in a rough, got a very rough version of this. Let's take it out of x-ray mode. Now, from what I can tell, even though our character, we're going off the reference image, but from what I can tell, he just feels top heavy. He feels very top heavy, just my personal opinion. Um, so, what we'll do since he feels top heavy and it looks like I have a little space at the bottom here actually so if since he feels top heavy what we'll do is just bring them shoes down we're gonna bring them to touch the ground actually the whole thing bring them to touch the ground down okay it's a little better it's a little better this feels still feels top heavy so we're gonna pull this up a little bit and see what that does now we're getting better it's getting better let's pull this chest up a little bit yeah yeah here we go here we go yeah that chest is kind of long yeah bring that chest up okay i'm liking that i'm liking that let's go ahead and bring these arms over let's try to connect these a little bit Right. And again, this is this is where it's getting we're kind of if you want to say veering a little bit off of the reference, not using the reference as much, but now just really getting into the like what feels right. What what really just feels right. Now you could do this this way. Here's another way you could do this, but we're gonna do it like we're gonna remain doing it this way for now at least. at least for now I'm just going to continue to do it like this let me go back into this mode just push and pull until we get it to like where we like it let's work on that stomach a little bit I'm thinking the stomach we're going to have to add we're definitely going to have there we go there we go now we yeah now we getting it there it is boom there we go. Now we're getting it in there. I'm gonna work on that leg again. Again, you spend it. When you're doing this, you just, you know, you're gonna notice you just spend time massaging it, making it, you know, the more time you can spend doing this part, the more, you know, the more you'll be happy with the end result. Now this is one of the things moves I like to do is just uh, if you even want to imagine like imagine he's just like wearing like some you know thadonthons or some underwear like that you know what I'm saying so you just kind of mold and shape your character to fit what well, makes sense again it's ideal to know at least a little bit of anatomy 
or understand anatomy a little bit so you know what makes sense, what doesn't. Those proportions are fair. I feel his 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 arms are really long. Not really long, but they are long. Um, what we can do is reduce his arms. Let's just put it back into normal mode. Something like that. Maybe that's that maybe feels better. I think it's it's more is this bicep area is kind of long. And I think because we were trying to extend it past or through the elbow, that's how we ended up there. Now I'm noticing I got some muscles over here that I don't have. So I'm gonna need to maintain that muscle definition. And I think that's exactly why we ended up how we were. I'm going to just keep it like that. I'm going to just keep it like that. It feels long right now, but I think once we kind of get into sculpting, we can redefine that. Let's see if we can get this, this to line up as well. So his chest looks right. Let's get out of x-ray mode so we can see it in the real... <laughs> His arm look crazy. So let's make sure we get that going. And you just want to line it up. Line it up, line it up, line it up. This is a good, if you're having trouble figuring out anatomy, think of a, a think of a, a, um, like a tank top shirt or something. Where that line intersects, just imagine that's a tank top shirt or something. So put it where it makes sense, where it looks like a tank top shirt. Actually, we'll put it somewhere like right there. Now you can get, we are not gonna get into muscles at this point, at this current moment, but you can get into, we are gonna get into muscles that start sculpting the muscles out. Again, our mesh is very, very limited right here. So we're just staying very limited on. See, I liked it when he was like kind of skinny-ish though. That looks better. One thing about hands, anatomy wise, you can put, just put your hands up to yourself, like put your hands at your side. Usually your hands will gonna fall over like right around your thigh area. It's not gonna ever, you know, touch your kneecap unless you're bent over. So it's usually like around this thigh area. So if he were to put his hand straight down, it should like revolve, it should rotate to like right around that thigh. Um, so always 
highly urge you always use yourself as reference for most of this stuff because that is key you are the best reference Now this is not normal mode. <sighs> your elbows are usually like right at your kidneys, if you want to say. Alright, then we're going to do our fingers back up to where they belong. like so boom all right i think we're good there and boom just like that and you can start to pull these out as well. Start to get a feel for the elbow. Start to pull this in. Get a feel for the wrist. Get a feel for this hand. It's gonna top stop at the I mean start at the top. We then, so usually hands flattened, so we're going to flatten it. Now, I know I, well, I guess I can leave it like that, but usually when doing a hand, we're going to rotate this. We're going to go ahead and rotate it. Because usually when doing a hand, you want to make sure you are able to add the, add the skeleton later on. And if the skeleton's usually like the hand is flat, laid flat. You can't even pull it. All right, it ain't gonna let me do that. Boom, there we go. So now it should be better. Now it should be better for when we actually rig it. And add the skeleton and stuff. All of that good stuff.
all that added good stuff. like that that's looking good Whew. taking time it's taking time but it's getting near I think we could live right we could, we could, we could live with that we could live with this all right let's go back to the head one more time Like this, like the, like this. Get in there. Still very blocky, head shaped. And a simple fix to that. I'm about to get to it in a second. Very, very simple fix to all of the blockiness. Again, think of a t think of a t-shirt or something like that for this part. What you can also do, especially on this part, is we can go to duplicate one, two. Duplicate one, two, and it duplicate one, two. Make sure you grab it all, duplicate, 
one, two. It needs to be all the fingers. So knuckle, knuckle, bending part or joint. So joint, joint, joint. Should we have a full finger right there? Same thing with the thumb. This thumb could be actually smaller though. Same thing with the thumb. Let's make it smaller though. Alright, D, duplicate. That's gonna be the knuckle or that joint. Oh, going too fat, going too big. Duplicate. This will be the that last joint or the end of the finger. Liking how this is looking. It's looking good. Boom, just like that. So now we have the fingers getting ready to be ready to be sculpted as well. Alright. So this is the base of the body. This is the base of the body. Do we want to go ahead and add our armor in? Hmm, that's a good question. It's going to make it more complex when we could just get the base of our body and then let's do the, ba the base body mesh first before adding all of the all of the extra stuff. And pull this face forward. I think that's why it feels square. I'll pull this one back. There we go. That's exactly why it feels square. Boom. You do that same thing for the back. Thing is, I'm trying to make a very neutral, neutral looking head, to be honest with you. To keep it one hundred. I'm liking that. Very strong, strong, strong jawline. Seems like. Let's go bring it up though. Here we go. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Let's make the not make the top of his head not so square. Just like that. So now we have a better head here. Mesh symmetrize. There we go. All right.
All right, so boom, there you have it. We pretty much showed you how to create the base mesh before even sculpting, how to just create the base uh, parts to the actual body and start to build out the anatomy and get a feel for the actual scale of the actual character. So again, you're starting to really understand more of anatomy, uh, where things are placed, how things are laid out. Again, you can have a, a very, a very, if you want to say a very heavy top, top heavy body or with short legs or a long leg, you know, individual with a short top body or very long arms. Again, I'm giving you that example or you got to kind of see that example in this lesson as far as how creative you want your character to be. Again, we're making ours a little more realistic, but again, these are all the elements. That's why this, this is key to actually before you start sculpting to go ahead and lay out these individual elements just like a again just like a a stick figure lay out these individual elements so you know you know how long the arms are how long the legs are before you get into all the actual details so with that being said the next lesson we're going to actually start to sculpt this thing we're going to start to sculpt some of the some of the elements together and really bringing this all together as far as one character he doesn't currently have armor yet we're going to add that later on but right now we're just going to get you into the sculpting phase where we again start to start to build this character out and get that actual shape more defined again we have our fingers we have everything pretty much laid out now we're just going to further define that using sculpting so with that being said i'll see you all in the next lesson later y'all peace